Uh, I'm a uh, clinical teaching fellow at Ross University School of Medicine, where I can mostly teach first and second year medical students uh, patient interviewing skills, physical exam skills, and only in the second year are we starting to get them interested into uh, uh, simulation healthcare. But what I want to like to talk to you guys about today is a project that I've been working in conjunction with our educational games department on the uh, uh, air, uh, VR virtual airway laboratory. Uh, I've been working in conjunction with uh, Eric Bauman, Dean McGonagall, and the Sam Soren, uh, Graham Gilbert. So, the idea is we're trying to see if a contemporary immersive virtual reality simulation environment, or what we're nicknaming Seekers, uh, we believe that it provides enough fidelity and augmented learning that it's not possible with traditional mannequin-based simulations. Um, now, this impact, the impact of virtual reality has not been studied on uh, student learners such as nursing students or medical students. Uh, we do, we are using Bauman's layered learning model to, uh, as, a, as a pedagogical scaffolding technique. And we believe that it will support a, a simulation to practice pathway scaffolding. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, we believe it will support a uh, simulation of practice pathway scaffolding or scaffolding traditional clinical encounters and better prepare our learners and our students for transition to practice. Now, our primary goals, our primary goal is to evaluate the use of virtual reality as a scaffolding technique, probably the way, as a scaffolding technique and to build knowledge and skills for teaching and learning. We want to pay particular attention to virtual reality uh, immersiveness and virtual reality presence, but we also don't want to discount this new phenomenon of virtual reality cyber sickness that people get in, a, uh, in an augmented world. Now, as with any new teaching technique, we, must, we absolutely need to see uh, if this mechanism is, right, is the right fit to teach. Um, this instrument we need to test to see, does this meet or exceed uh, the current standard in cost, uh, value, and usability? We believe that it does in many institutions, and this is how we're going to move forward. Our second, our second goal: uh, Does our airway clinic, does our airway VR clinic, accurately deliver information about the airway in, with tools and the adjuncts such as the King tube, the Combi tube, the uh, LMA, and nasogastric tubes? Can this be easily assimilated by nursing students and medical students in their year? Um, uh, we do this in a virtual environment specifically because a simulated task trainer may not be able to show some of the more uh, anatomic variances, such as higher mountain potty scores, obstruction, or obesity that students will eventually encounter during their clinical and formative years. We went about this by using a quasi-experimental one-group pre-test, post-test design where we elicited both the faculty and student learners. Uh, they went through the simulation. Our faculty, we asked them questions based on is this an effective learning technique, as well as presence, immersion, and cyber sickness. And we asked our learners to see what did you know before the simulation, and what did you learn after the simulation, and do you feel like this is a good technique to teach? Uh, in conjunction with our partners of Arch Virtual, they develop the virtual uh, environments uh, it's as you are kind of like a, an operating room and you have several uh, airways in front of you. You grab, pick up the airway, a, a virtual physician tells you about how to use it and then you have the opportunity to insert into a virtual patient with a, virtu uh, with a cutaway that shows you all the um, anatomical structures that you're bypassing and that you're trying to get into. Uh, it's designed to work on a PC gaming uh, computer with the Oculus Rift, uh, as well as touch pads. The whole setup is about six lessons that can be completed in 20 minutes, um, after which time they can then take our surveys or repeat it as necessary. Uh, the survey itself is done on Qualtrics, a web-based survey. I'm sure many of you use that before. Now our faculty that uh, undertook this uh, training or undertook the virtual reality process, they overwhelmingly felt we had a plurality of them that felt this was a highly effective, highly valuable, or very valuable teaching tool. Uh, a, again, a large proportion of them felt that this was something that we should invest in in their institution as a means to teach uh, students. 
When we look at the scores for uh, immersion and presence and induced cyber sickness, we see very good scores on immersion and presence and almost negligible, almost no cyber sickness. Now the knowledge test at the bottom uh, is we, we told, we asked our learners, our student learners, how much do you know about these airway adjuncts beforehand? And we see how much do you know about the airway adjuncts afterhand? This is not only a significant but statistical increase, but this is on par, if not better, than what we would expect in a traditional teaching lab environment, where we have a single faculty with eight students and they're teaching it face-to-face, uh, uh, -face or in the flesh. We asked a similar question to our learners to ask, is this a valuable tool and would you like to see this in your institution? And we, once again, we see a plurality of young uh, learners saying that this is a great tool, we should invest in this, and they would probably use this more often. Moving forward, what we're hoping to do is expand this project into uh, more of our uh, teaching campuses, more nursing schools, and even possibly present this as a medical school, where we have the same learners trying to learn teaching, uh, uh, trying to learn airway adjuncts. Um, additionally, we hope to be able to take this and uh, simulate different environments, right? We have not only airway adjuncts, but eventually uh, also um, intravenous line adjuncts, um, central lines, um, you name it. The, 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 uh, the, the possibilities are actually virtually endless, but we need to see is this an effective tool for cost? Will they actually learn? And does this make sense in each of the individual environments? I'm open to questions and comments.